Hello, this is Anna Maria. Today I'm going to give you a gardening tip about how to make your own homemade insecticidal soap spray to protect your vegetables and flowers. The one that I make only has two different ingredients. The first one is a liquid Castile soap and you want it not to have any fragrances or added moisturizers or anything so that's why I like to use this liquid Castile soap. It comes in a lot of different scents. This one is lavender but it could be any scent or even unscented. And then the second ingredient is uh, water and I just use the water that comes from my regular garden hose um, and this insecticidal soap will protect uh, the plants from things like mites and aphids, immature leaf hoppers, white flies, um, Japanese beetles, things like that. Um, so let me show you how I make it. All I do is I take a tablespoon, this is a tablespoon, I use this one gallon container that I got from Walmart and I put the soap into this, pour the soap into the tablespoon. This liquid Castile soap comes out really easily. There's one tablespoon. Then I do it one more time. There's the second tablespoon. And then fill it up with water. So, that I just... And now that I have finished filling it up with water, I labeled it insecticidal soap spray. I just did that with a Sharpie, but you could use any method. I put the lid on it. And then I shake it up. And that's all there really is to it. It's not very hard to make an insecticidal soap spray. I have used it on peppers and tomatoes. I've used it on squash. I've used it on beans. I haven't used it on everything um, because I, those are just the vegetables that I'm growing this season. But what I would recommend is to spray it on to one or two leaves and see if it affects it in a negative way. If you see browning or um, otherwise uh, just the leaf doesn't look as, well, as good as you want it to after you put it on, then you don't have to use it anymore. You can use something else. So here I am in my vegetable garden and I planted this uh, nasturtium flower right near my squash plants to help protect them from bad bugs. Um, but what I did was I sprayed this leaf with a soap spray in the middle in the heat of the day and you can see it has a brown spot on it. I'm not even so sure if my nasturtiums like the soap spray even if it's not um, in the heat of the day. This might not be a plant that the soap spray will work well with, but I just wanted to give you an example of the fact that it can cause some browning on some plants, so you just definitely want to test it on a leaf or two first. The other thing that you can do is um, take a funnel and um, use this liquid spray bottle. And what I did was I poured the solution into this bottle and then screw the lid on and you can use this on a mist setting. So here I am in my garden with my pepper plant and I actually sprayed this in the evening because yeah, the leaves had aphids crawling on them, but now you can see they're nice and green, even on the undersides. And not only that, but it started to flower very nicely, so this is where the flowers are gonna come from. And all the leaves look green and pretty. This is what it used to look like when it had been chewed through by things, 
So um, I definitely think my um, my insecticidal soap that was homemade helped this plant. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to make a homemade insecticidal soap spray to protect your vegetables and flowers. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a like and to comment. I really appreciate all your feedback. Remember that if I can make an easy insecticidal soap, you can too.